Is it Pokemon? Okay, so if you guys don't know, on Mango Coin, I charge, uh, I forgot how much I charge for coin. And, um, you get to play a first to five with me. Uh, I might lower it, I might hire it. I think it was 50, 50 bucks, whatever that is in coin. But I might, I might hire it, might lower it. I haven't decided. You just do like a couple hours a week. I'm thinking of just doing every Friday, like at the start. Cause like if I do five, let's be real, that's like under an hour for me. I can just, no offense, uh, first to fivers, but you know what you signed up for. So like, I, I'm probably gonna do every Friday after my intro or whenever. You, it's like a, it's like in those dating shows when it's like your, your, your privacy time. So if you have your coin, you pretty much any time before Ludwig, if you want to do it, I'll do it. And that's what I'm gonna do. You just let me know and I can just do it really quick. Random save as long as it's in fountain. <laughs> I'll tell you something, you're not off to a good start there, my friend. Not the best start. What if I buy coin but don't play melee? Uh We can play Connect 4, sure. Thanks, Hale. Okay. Didn't shoot a laser, interesting uh approach to the game. He's only shined. Okay, this guy's a weirdo. Ford B. <laughs> oh. I don't worry, I would guarantee will not JB5 you on stream. That's fucked up. I no no. You know anytime I'm about to JB5 someone, I don't I let them hit me. I will that's fucked up to JB5 somebody. That loves to just shine. Got a mango forward smash me, kid. Where do you think you learned that from? Yo, yeah, thanks, Hale. He's better than me? Oh, shit! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. You're so nervous? Now imagine this, but playing for $50,000, you're down 2-0, and you have to beat Zane on FE twice. That's why some of us are... Some of us are closers. Some of us SD off Yoshi's almost twice. I need to ask him why he hasn't shot one laser. It's very weird to me. Oh, you gotta get those. You gotta get those. <laughs> this guy's a mango fan. I don't know why that's gonna do the forward B. No, I don't think people, I mean, I think most people would be nervous to play on stream. Like, how many, what's the most any of you ever played in front of viewer-wise? You probably never even hit triple digits. So I think for some people, like, playing, you know, it, it's a, ah, he was gonna take it. Oh! He's gonna kick, game three tube is coming alive. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, the best advice I give everybody is just like, I know it's like corny, but at the end of the day, you really are just playing a game. And like, you just have to think of it that way. But I think some people do better on like pressure. And some others don't. So it's like, all about finding what works for you. Some people thrive on like that pressure and others will probably choke under it. Oh, he made the schmang. I thought you're going up. Bully double laser. Okay, a little let's dash action. <laughs> I mean, Zane was kind of talking about this. And I, he's like, he said he was dropping things against me, but he was also like, playing under pressure is also part of the skill. So people are like, Zane played bad. And it's like, it's hard to play, dude, when there's so much on the line. Like I said, getting good at melee is the first part. Oh, I wanted down tilt. Now, uh, having to play good in grand finals or like your last stock, that's when the game gets hard. I was like, this guy's not rolling. Jump into it! Huh. I also think that's why, that's the one thing online doesn't have. There's, oh! There's not like that pressure. You don't feel it like you do. Oh, you gotta roll there, buddy. Okay, good forward B. Is 
fuck. Bird! I live that? I'm actually shocked I live that. You won't be under pressure unless you get good first. I don't think that's true. I think you could be a noob playing at your first tournament and trying not to go 0 and 2. Like, there's pressure even to win your first set. You know, it doesn't matter how good you are. I'm ask people who ever played their like for a lot of people, the first time you don't go 0 and 2, I'm sure you're sweating it. You're about to win your first tournament set ever. You're probably shitting your little newbie panties, dude. Yeah, you don't have to be Grand Finals Game 5, you know, last stock of Summit 11 to feel pressure. I think pressure can be big for anybody. It's just on the moment, depending on you. Hmm. You better think on the cloud for a second there. Don't let me do it to you. Don't let me. Oh, you're so. Okay, God doesn't want me to. I lied. I'm gonna do it. Fuck you. <laughs> I can see the thought process in his brain. He was like, uh, <laughs> uh. Hi, right, Cupin. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Woo! All right, Gary, let's play. I haven't played this matchup in so long. I think this matchup really isn't that bad for Falco. It's just hard. Oh, I'm bad. Okay, everybody knows I'm going up. I think every Mango fan, when they play me, they're like, he goes up all the time. He's not going to go up against me. And then I do. Welcome back. I got hit with the Tafo. Too much of dash tech. Swerk? No, fine. Don't jump! He can't jump there. If you're listening right there, you just want to go to edge. Like 99, 99999999% of the time. Oh, the spacing? Oh, don't you can't chill grab me, bro! It's funny because Meat King used to try and show grab me for the longest time. When I'm playing good, you don't get it. But it, I think you do have to chump check me. You can't just let me, like, not, you know, not do it. Oh, you trick? You got tricks? Oh, shit. That's kind of nasty. Go, man. <laughs> I can't that work. Bushin? Oh, he tricked me. Oh, he's, this guy's got some recovery on him. Oh, he just committed! These mango subs, they just commit! They <laughs> don't Right there, you gotta grab. At low percent of Sheik, if you can get a grab, you pretty much always have to go for it. Dash tag, never. Every player will CC you, but I don't CC. Yeah, see, I like that you're already kind of being more stationary, making walls. Keep in mind, I'm hitting you, but that's because I'm amazing. But I like the ideas, or the concept. Because that's kind of how you get better at it. That's why it's hard when I, like, to give people tips, because, like, everything I do is just going to kind of own. Right there is 50 50. Oh, shit. The bird, where's my damage? I feel like this guy's, like, not a Sheik player. He does not play like a Sheik player. Okay, see, you shielded there, didn't get hit. Shield. See, like, that difference. This is what I was trying to tell Scar. See, like, right there you could have rolled, right? It's just, like, makes such a big difference if I'm not hitting you for free. That goes to everybody. These are tips for everybody. Enjoy the free, free tips. Dude, we usually do really well against the Dodgers. Okay, nice shield. There you go. Roll. There you go. And dash attack. Okay. No, this guy just wanted some tips because he bought some main coins. So I'm just giving him little pointers. Probably going to be doing this every Friday. So I guess Friday. I mean, by this guy getting pointers, a lot of you are probably getting some little pointers. Because I forget that people like, I don't know. People like little tips. I just forget. Like, to me, it's just such basic knowledge. But obviously not to everybody it is. Also, you have the problem Scar has. I feel like you're smash. Yeah, you just go straight up. Oh, okay. Geo doesn't even react to that. Best advice, like, turn those dash... If you're gonna do that at zero, you might as well turn your raw dash tags into, like, raw, like, grabs. 
It's like a better way to look at it. This is my favorite wrestler, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hello? You ever want to do publicly available coaching sessions? I mean, I think this to me, like, because, like, obviously I'm way better than this guy. So, like, I feel like this is, like, as much coaching as I can do. At, at some point, you know, I can just get pointers, and after that, it's, like, on you. Alright, quick pointers. I think you need to stop shield grabbing. You seem to be a shield grab, uh, Sarah. Uh, stop dash tracking at low percents because it's just it's just bad um, Literally if you want instead of do, just imagine dash tagging, but just go for raw run-up grab She players do it all the time you start getting into the habit of that and then you get really good You know I just looking for grabs um, Your aerials seem fine your recovery seems pretty fine um, Got to work on uh, your DI is kind of poor. Uh, I Think that's Kind of the just quick little tips. Rough. That was fun, yeah, man. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed the tips. Uh, but yeah, those are just, that's just basic things, and I promise you, if you just listen to like those things that advice, you'll get like 10% better right there. Straight up. Uh, Shredward, who do you want me to play? You want the Falco too? You want the Fox? All the Falco fans are here today. Tubin wants to get 10% better. Tubin, I think you just got to work on your movement as a whole. Uh, you seemed a little, like, not as efficient. I think, it, like, you just gotta get better at moving first. You work on that, play me in two months, we'll do another set, and then I'll give you, like, real tips. Because at the level you're at, it just seems like you have, uh... Yeah, you get, you're just really new. Motherfucker plays... He did, holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! Oh, shit. Right <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who does this guy want me to play? Oh, right terrified. <laughs> oh, terrified. He said Falco? Okay. Damn, I actually haven't played a Ganon in so long. I want to see this guy versus Geo. I can already tell that'd be the ages. Matchup for the ages. Is Ganon worse Falcon? No, Ganon's just the big bruiser of the game. He either hits you four times or he doesn't. You're good? I feel like in my head you wouldn't be. Oh, that's a bait. I waited, okay. My Luigi is really fucking good. I'm Plub Jr. I keep he keeps shooking me. I don't think he's gonna do it. This guy actually seems like he has pretty good understanding of fundamentals, but he plays Ganon. Seems like he definitely knows what he's doing. Oh, he wanted it. Oh my god, that scared me. I guess I he waits to go down, roll to the center. Yeah, this guy knows what he's doing. He's not terrible. Fuck it. Uh oh. Did he just do that to me? <sighs> this guy seems like he's a pretty under. Like, I can tell he's not. He kind of understands neutral, but. Ganon's gonna be Ganon sometimes. <laughs> this guy's sick. <laughs> Any Ganon? I feel like Falgo's really hard matchup for Ganon. The only problem is he can kill me in three hits, but I feel like if you're playing really good as Falgo, I don't I do not understand how Ganon gets an open up. Especially the show pressure. Swerk. Can I explain my lasers? My best advice, Tupin, is you either laser to gain positioning, you defensively laser, or use a laser to get in. And you kind of just do one of the three every laser. But never do a laser for nothing, and that's the problem every Falco has. Is they just laser, and they don't know why they're lasering. But the easiest, and there's even more lasers than those three. There's, oh shit. But that's like the easiest way to look into it. Yeah, shoot a laser, but like, a lot of the time, like, so like, I'm gonna laser right now defensively, and I'll show you like, what I mean by that. So I'm only gonna laser to like, kind of keep him away. 
It's Ganon, so like you can kind of tell. Like these are all defensive. But now I'm gonna laser to gain positioning. He just ate it, and then he owned me. I hate laser forward. But look, so like, this is like going forward with a laser. So you like laser, except Fallon's like the worst level for it actually. But I hate laser forward. So oh shit! Oh, this guy's gonna beat me. I can't be a teacher against Cannon. But yeah, it's like one of the three usually. And if you look a lot, I'll always do one of the three. Okay, this guy's like go to the edge, Andy. You fall behind it, yeah. A lot of the time, I like lasering for positioning. And then I decide what I'm gonna do. It's like this would be a laser for positioning. And right here, I'm like keeping center with my laser. So I'm like lasering for space. Right? Like, it'd be better if I just played a game. And then, um. I can like replay it after, but like every laser I do has a purpose. Even if I don't know it does, it always does. It's like that's moving forward with my laser. So that laser got me positioning and I was able to move forward again. This is laser keeping center, defensive, you know what I mean? It's just like that happens really fast, but that's kind of the general idea. Yeah, I was ready to tech. This guy seems really not bad, but he plays Ganon, so he's limited. That worked, I'm nasty. <laughs> I think people love watching me beat up noobs. I just don't do it often. I think every melee viewer likes it, and I don't know why, because I think it's very boring, but people love it. What? Oh. Let's kick some tail. He waited. Geo, we're Eagle fans, right? We're we're Ray Charles now, okay? Alright. Also, what I want to do, we're gonna do what the chess prod, what chess prod does. He has his uh, subs play against each other, and whoever loses has to gift to him. So I do want to have a day out of the month where we have sub cockfights, and you guys all pick somebody and you guys fight for pride. Loser gets banned for a month, winner. Loser gets banned for a month and has to give subs, and winner gets all the bragging rights. I'll be back. GG's, I'll be back, I'll be back.